Want to animate text word by word in DaVinci Resolve? The first thing we're going to do is create a new fusion composition. Right click in the media pool, select new fusion composition and hit create. Easy. Drag the composition to the timeline and place it right at the beginning. With the playhead positioned over the fusion clip, let's open the fusion page and get started. We add a text plus node using this icon. Then we connect the text plus node to the media out one node like this. Perfect. We're now ready to start animating the text. Right click on the text box and select the follower modifier. This will activate the modifiers tab. So let's open it to continue. Inside, we go to the Transform tab, and in the Transform option, we change characters to words. We'll create the text animation using keyframes on the size values, X and Y, so that the words grow as they appear. Let's move to frame 10, or somewhere around there, and create two keyframes, one for X and one for Y. Perfect. Now go back to frame 0 and reduce both values to 0. This gives us a simple scaling in animation. Wait a second. This isn't word by word. Did you really think we wouldn't notice? This is the end of Sergio Moda's YouTube career. He could have just gone to the timing tab and set a delay of two to make the animation go word by word, but he didn't. Oh wait, yes he did. To make it smoother, we're going to add some speed ramps. Open the spline panel, check the text one box, and click the zoom icon so you can see all the keyframes clearly. Perfect. Now it's super easy. Select all the keyframes, right click on the graph, and go to the ease options. Here you'll find two curves that work really well for this kind of animation. Out cubic for a smooth easing, or out back cubic if you want a little bounce. Let's try out cubic first so you can see how it looks. As you can see, the words now appear with a much smoother flow. Now let's try out back cubic. Personally, I think it looks even better because it adds a bounce, but that's totally up to you. Right now, the bounce is a bit strong. So if you go with the out back cubic curve, I recommend toning it down a little. Here's how. Click the square at the end of the curve handle and drag it down to soften the curve and reduce the bounce. Then do the same on the other side and match them up so the curve stays even. Done. We keep the bounce, but now it's much more subtle. Now for the final step. Open the Tools menu and go to the Settings tab. Here we can add Motion Blur to give the animation a more polished look. Check the Motion Blur box and raise the quality to 10. If your computer starts to struggle, you can lower the quality, no problem. And that's it. Back in the edit page, your word-by-word -word animation is ready to go. Now just adjust the duration of the fusion clip to match your project. One last tip. To make your text easier to read and more eye-catching, you can add a drop shadow. Press Shift plus Space. Search for Drop Shadow and add it. Then tweak the strength, angle, and distance until it looks just right. This way your text will pop on any background. Want to use this animation anytime without remaking it from scratch? In the next video, I'll show you how to save it as a custom effect in DaVinci Resolve. I'll see you there.